now they can hear me. It was choosing the wrong microphone the whole time. Hello, hello, one, two. Can you hear us now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So imagine that Brett introduced me earlier and imagine that I said some really awesome and important stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Let's 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 go over. So, <laughs> so again, thank you all. Um, and uh, basically, I'm trying to think what I to recap what I just said. A um, few months ago, well, a year ago, we introduced Falcon, and one of the things we saw that the map is not as accurate as we want it to be, uh, especially around four points, and Falcon kind of suffered from this especially when we try to make it uh, react faster. And basically what, uh, what we did was to suggest this map rate. We mapped all the segments in the way, on the ways map and looked, well, map, mapped wasn't an intentional pun, but it came out as a pun. Um, we wanted to look on the average distances from the GPS points we see to those segments. And we then flagged areas in segments that we thought need, needed to be fixed, or at least that we wanted to be looked at. Uh, we sent about 2 million segments uh, across the world to all the various communities. And when we discussed this internally, we assumed that Two to three hundred thousand segments would be fixed, uh, and that was our goal, roughly. So let's say fifteen percent, give or take, was the goal from this huge, huge list, and the number was significantly higher. And I'm going to talk about the numbers in a few seconds, but just so you'll know, this this created a huge shockwave in sideways uh, as to reaffirming our. Uh, uh, you know, knowledge that the waste community is just fantastic. Um, so now I'm going to show you a few slides. And for me, it's really important to have an open discussion. So please do feel free to ask anything. Uh, and I would, well, not anything, most things, please, re re regarding Falcon anyway, and the map rate. Uh, and I'll do my best to answer. Um, there's not a lot to, to show. Just one thing is that in the end, each community will be able to receive the same list of segments, but with the new numbers per segment per block. So you can see before and after analysis of what you guys did. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to talk about the map rate results. And so this is really amazing. As I mentioned, we hoped for 300,000 segments and we sent 2 million and you guys either edited or created nearly 3.1 million segments. This is really mind blowing, a lot more than we thought would be done. Uh, I cannot stress this hard enough. And again, the community was really involved. It was really amazing for us to see that. Uh, all in all, 43 uh, Falcon map raids and uh, a bit over 700 uh, community members were involved with the map raid. Uh, so really, I mean, can we all clap? Only three guys here. So, uh, imagine, imagine that there's more. Uh, uh, hopefully, we could have celebrated it with a real like meeting, but yeah, COVID and stuff. And uh, yeah. so, let's show some stats. Now I'm gonna do this. Da, da, da. So this is basically a list that shows per uh, group what was done and and again it's it's really amazing and i think that we can share this right later on so you, you guys can actually see the the, the full comp comprehensive list of of this uh amazing amazing achievement and again I, i'm when i when i was asked to talk about the falcon map rate as far as i when i saw the numbers and i mean all the numbers and i'm going to share some more stuff soon but I can say soon here. It's not. Uh, I'm not promising anything. I'm just promising to show you stuff. Um, but I, I just said this is a celebration to what you guys achieved. So this is basically the number. Uh, all the all the other stats for for the communities. 
Um, and if we go back to, oops, see Daisy. One second. Dun, dun, dun. I'll do it like this. So, yeah. All right. So now let's show some. Let's show the improvements. So basically, if we look, this is per country, per state, in the entire world map uh, without the US and Israel, so rest of the world. Um, and we see green across the board. When you see uh, an average, basically this is the average and median distances for, the entire, for all the segments. Now, is it large enough for people to see? I should, uh, maybe I should zoom in. I'll, I'll zoom in, I'll zoom in. I'll do it like this, all right. So these are the original uh, average and median distances from the GPS samples to the segments that we got. This is the original one, so before the map rate was done, and this is after the map rate was done. And you can see across the board a huge improvement. We do see some minor uh, changes here in the average, but again, the median is what we normally care about. And across the board, we see an improvement. All those segments were fixed big time. It's crazy. I mean, really crazy. There were, it's like 99.9% .9 of the segments were improved. It's it's a huge, huge, huge achievement for you guys. And I can just go on and on and on. It's green and green, you know. Again, this may seem like a change, but it's probably a one-off. Average is never uh, a good indicator. The median is what, what we care about, right? Um, so again, amazing, really amazing. This is going straight to our management for them to see uh, the power of the waste community. And as you guys know, I'm now in charge of our map. And that means that I'm trying to, to create a lot, a lot more new tools to be able to do stuff we couldn't do before, either fixing junction boxes, improving lanes and so on. So this is really helpful. This is, this goes, this, this gives me sort of ammo to, to, to um, when I, when I go to the management and ask them for more resources, more developers, this is really helpful. So again, this is a, a, a an awesome uh, uh, achievement guys uh, in, in many aspects, not just the, the, the pure fixing the map achievement, right? So, I think that that's it. That's the same one. I should close it. And um, we also created this really, really awesome. Uh, um, uh, how do you say it? Badge. Yeah. Sorry. It's 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 11 a.m. here, but I had a rough night. So excuse me. <laughs> um, and this is an awesome Falcon Library badge, and everyone who uh, participated will get this uh, badge. Uh, so you can probably probably wear it. And I'll see if I can do something uh, in the physical realm with that badge, uh, but that's yet to be seen. Um, that concludes my 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 part, and now I'm actually looking to hear from you guys. So. If you want to share links and ask questions, just ask questions, anything that relates to the map, to editing the map, to Falcon, to all that stuff, I'm here for that. Yeah, you have, yeah, my full attention. So thank you. Should I look? And read the questions myself, or do you want to present care of them? Doing questions oh, okay, for awesome. You. awesome. So we're here. So everyone, please go ahead and start asking your questions. We have the link posted in chat, I believe, right? There is the first one. Awesome. Let's bring it up on screen. All right. So our first question is from Dennis. We in Germany haven't changed so much because we are waiting for an official guide slash document. Does that already exist? And when should segments be changed? Actually, it's an excellent question because it means that even not changing much was uh, already doing a, a lot more than we, we thought. Um, we are working on, a, on a, an official guide for that. And also, we are working on improving the tools to make that all these editings 
uh, easier. Um, that's why, for example, we are not going to ask for uh, a follow-up map raid until we get the tools in WME ready. Uh, we want you guys to, we, we learned a lot from, from this uh, entire experience. So once we'll do that, we'll also release tools. But the guide will be uh, sent, uh, do you know when, roughly? After the session. Oh, OK, so really soon, not way soon. So yes, so thank you, Dennis. <laughs> And our next question is for Robin Dick Manuel. It's going to be possible, is it going to be possible to filter the age of the GPS traces? That's an excellent question again. Uh, we are working on revamping the GPS layer. Um, so there will be a few changes that we'll add. Um, first of all, the old layer will remain as is, but there will be a new layer introduced so you can toggle. And the new layer will, will only show uh, GPS samples that are linked, that are snapped to a segment. So for example, you won't see all the noise uh, outside. And we'll also use a lot more GPS samples so you can actually see, for example, the actual width of the road with that kind of data. Uh, one of the things that we will also uh, introduce, or at least we're looking for a, for a reasonable way to introduce it is to show be able to cut like last, uh, let's say last month, last uh, two months, last three months. It's a bit hard for us to do less than a month for privacy reasons, but once uh, we'll work on, on that, we'll see, you know, how granular we can make that uh, slicing. So, yeah. cool. Let's load up our next question. So from Lost in My Maps, how easy is it for you to give us a new sheet anyway? It's not easy. Uh, but we will do it at least for the data that you already received. Uh, in the future, we're looking for better ways to communicate these kind of uh, indications. We're working on basically, we want to do self-healing, but even without self-healing map, uh, we will be able to at least either send specific um, uh, map update requests or uh, you know, map problems, things like that in, in areas where we are very, very certain that there's an issue uh, on the map. And that would be probably an easier way than sending sheets all the time. Uh, so, yeah, thank you. Cool. And how about our next question? Also from Lost in My Maps, is there an ETA on new interfaces to overlay the data in the WME? Uh, Yeah, I'm trying to think of a clever answer because uh, I don't have any. Um, that's the biggest problem. Um, we don't have an ETA on these kind of things, mostly because we're not further in the development enough to get an actual ETA. So what I can say is that it's a ways soon on that. But you know the answer. A ways. A ways soon. soon. Do we have any more questions loaded up? Great. Let's move on to our next one. Sorry, Brandon. From Gerard, we keep getting snapping problems here. Okay. What can we do to improve other than mapping the roads as far apart as possible? Can I get uh, the link in a... one second? Let's let's take on let's take a look on this example together. Let me just close this. I need to stop sharing my screen. Now I'm gonna share a different screen. Can I get the link? Are you keeping it? Uh, let's take a look. First of all, let's put this one here. And where did it send it? In the chat? Oh, okay, okay. Got it. All right, thank you. I'm going to look at it. One second, one second. Okay, hey, I'm going back here. I, I'm not, I'm not, ah, uh, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, give me a second, guys. Too many open windows, way too many open windows. <laughs> and it's, it, it makes it a bit harder for me to do anything. Where is the, let's, this. We lost you. There okay. we are. Now we see you, or we see ourselves. Um, so you screen share. 
let me just take a look. Uh, there's no segment link uh, on this. Let's show my screen. But there's no segment. So if you can just tell which uh, which segment you're referring to, that would be really useful. Can we share my screen? OK, thank you. Um, do I look on my problems? Okay, so it's I cannot read the language. Um, to ask the question, and can can we get more information about? Yeah. Gerard, can you please tell which segment you want us to look at? Okay. Do you click on the comments there, and there you can see the YouTube comments. Oh, awesome! That's awesome. Woohoo! You should have told me that. I, I, I was I was talking and I can't I couldn't see all the oh wow. Okay, now I'm going to read everything, so you have to wait. Give me a second to read all the stuff you wrote. No, I'm kidding. Gerard's at the bottom. Okay, that so being, he... no, 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 there is a snap to the left parallel. Okay. Left. Oh, I see what you mean. Dun, dun, dun. So this is a bi-directional road, right? Yeah, it's a two-way road. And we have this, yeah. But why would they snap to it? That doesn't make, no. For, okay, so from driving from here, they will not be able to to snap to this one. I mean, that will really surprise me if they reach it from here. But from here, in theory, they could get snapped. You know. Actually, it is mapped correctly. So let's look on the road. So this is a major highway, and this is a street. Um, yeah. Computer class, thank you. Yeah, computer class. <laughs> um, that's weird. I need to, okay, Gerard, can you please send logs with these issues? Because, yeah, I see, it. I, need, I need to see logs. It doesn't make sense. I mean, if someone drives here going north, they cannot get to this segment uh they might be able to get to doesn't, it doesn't make sense at all that they will get snapped i need to see logs from that doesn't make sense okay the mapping is okay not a mapping problem it's something else okay all right can we throw our next question up on the board so again from lost in my maps Last time we talked, Waze said they could provide us with more documentation. I'm not aware of this happening. You just promised us you would provide it again. We need some results this time. Uh, Waze is me or Waze is Waze? Who said that? Uh, 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 documentation. I don't know. Uh, what kind of documentation? Maybe about the data you'd mentioned earlier that we can send out. Brendan, can you? Uh, can you, yeah, exactly. Exactly. where we can ever provide logs? Yeah, I know because it's unless you are the ones who's who's driving. Um, okay, so maybe it was my fault and I forgot. I don't know. Um, I don't know. But if you guys have any requests, feel free to reach out to me at Cohenbrett at ways com, and I'll make sure that you get whatever data you need sent to you. OK, so I now understand. Brandon, so OK, the the, the documentation will be, will be supplied today. Uh, Ares is on it. So it's going to be released today, if that's what you meant. So hopefully that's what, we, what, what you meant. If not, let me know. All right, great. Next question. From Leo, a lot of issues were around roundabouts, but we want to keep it as a normal roundabout with keep left and right instructions instead of second and third. When will roundabout instructions over IB be available so we can adjust the roundabouts? So that's really soon because that's already in testing in our staging environment. Um, you'll be able to define junction boxes on roundabouts, and then you can control the instructions to each exit in the roundabout depending on where the uh, driver entered. And you'll be able to mix those instructions. So you can, for example, say, turn right for one instruction and uh, third exit on 
on the left one, for example, if you if 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 the right is obvious for a right from that place, the left can be a third if it's not an, an obvious left. Um, so you can mix and match, and uh, we'll have it uh, hopefully really really soon because it's already in the final stages of, of our QA process. Great, and let's bring up our last question on the board. From Dennis, we used the small 90 degree angles to make the correct announcement when turning. Is that a problem for Falcon? Should we better overwrite the instructions? Well, wait, 90 degrees angles for off ramps, for dog legs, you mean? Dennis, if you can please uh, let us know if that, that's what you meant. Um, so uh, I'll answer the, uh, for both, uh, if, if you don't, don't see any answer on that. Um, basically, please do not use 90 degrees angle, uh, 90 degree angles on dog legs. If, okay, yeah, no, dog, well, it, it will not, it's, it's, it's pretty horrible. Please don't use that. There is actually, I sent uh, a dog leg instruction to some of the community members. Uh, it is. I want to can you share the documentation that you want to share, uh, and I'll add the dog legs to it if it's not already there. We'll make sure that the dog legs documentation goes in as uh, as well. Falcon has a dog leg detection mechanism to essentially extend the the dog leg back, and then because you, you don't really turn when you exit in in a in a dog leg situation, you, you just veer slowly. So uh the detection is depending is depend heavily dependent on the you know how parallel are the segments and the angle and the length and so on so dog legs do have some parameters that need to be taken into consideration please don't use small 90 degrees degree angles to make uh, announcements you just use turn instructions override for that uh don't use that thank you uh the dog leg detection no, oh, no, great. We have more questions. One second. There's a follow-up for that. Oh, okay. um, uh, uh, Brandon said double detections curving. So no, it's not. It's uh, it's a different mechanism. Curving is curving, and double legs is double legs. All right, we're good. Let's pull up the next question. You hinted JBs on roundabouts are in staging ETH production. <laughs> uh, good question. <laughs> good question. Um, we. I, I, I thought it go, it's going to be out by now, but we just we found a few minor issues, especially with uh, with um, the way that the client understands this junction box on roundabout uh, structure. So um, I hope that you know within a version or two of WME will have it in production. But it, it, it's a pretty heavy upgrade. It, requ it requires upgrading. The entire stack, you know, like routing tile builder, routing server, geocoding tile builder, geocoding server, WME, and so on. So it's not just uh, it's a process to upgrade. That's the problem. Uh, but it's already in testing, and we'll have it. And I can also say that once we do that, we're going to uh, along the way also improve junction boxes, so you can do more stuff in junction boxes, uh, and you wouldn't hate them as much as you do. And I mean, rightfully so. It's, it's a horrible uh, um, thing right now. So it's going to be less horrible. Great. Let's bring up our next question on the board. It's from Robin and well again, what is what what has been the actual improvement for navigation to edit the roundabouts exit and entrances in Y mode? I meant we used to edit under simple addition, one junction as entry exit instead of to split the road in a Y when approaching the roundabout. So you don't really need to split the road uh, into Ys just because. Uh, the idea is that many times you have um, boulevard entering roundabouts. Essentially, the, the, the main problem is not just splitting the um, I'll rephrase that. We don't, if you have a single bi-directional road entering a roundabout, you don't need to change it to Y. The thing is that in many cases, you do need to split the segment into two different segments, two different one-directional segments, because the road 
dictates that, or at least the, the, the new editing uh, requirements dictate that. So again, if you have a road that you cannot easily cross from one side to the other because there's a barrier or a, a ditch or whatever, then you do need to split that. And that's when you need to essentially enter and uh, you'll, you'll have, you'll, you'll end up with up to, well, not up to, but you know, in some cases eight different segments entering instead of just four. And then that's why, why, why you need to have a turn instruction override on roundabouts. Uh, so I hope I answered the question. You don't need to use Y if you have a single segment uh, connected to the roundabout from each side. And now here's our real last question, I've been assured. Will lane instructions be coming to roundabout junction boxes as well for multi-lane roundabouts to help drivers get in the correct lane for left, right, straight on multi-lane roundabouts? So yes, but that's not going to be around the corner. Uh, well, no pun intended uh, here. Uh, <laughs> But it's going to it, it's on on the roadmap to basically be able to you know, to have lane guidance everywhere. What is in the closer roadmap and it is somewhat related is the ability to add far turns, uh, so you'll be able to define more complex lane guidance. Uh, so this one has that. All right. Awesome. Well, if that wraps us up for Q and A today, then I'd like to thank you, Gil, for joining us, and I'd like to thank. Nice all of you for sticking with us, even through all of our technical snafus and difficulties this morning. We hope that you'll join us again this evening at 5 p.m. UTC for round two, where Gil's gonna be showing some more examples and answering more of your questions. So if during the day today, you had another question that you just thought of and didn't have a chance to ask, please join us this evening and we'll be happy to get back to you. So I'm Brett, I'm your favorite community specialist with the shiniest head. And this is Gil Desetnik signing off for now. We'd like to thank you all for joining us and we'll see you soon.